What's up? You guys ready for Tunnel Vision? Make some fucking noise right now. And if you're here for comedy, just, just be quiet. Just be quiet. You guys feeling good, though? You guys feeling good? All right. I'm feeling great. I just started this new diet. I just eat edibles until I'm full. It's beautiful, man. Last night, I ate an edible, and I watched Life of Pi. That shit was crazy, dude. It took me an hour to realize I was actually watching Slumdog Millionaire. I, like, weed, weed has made me too lazy to smoke actual weed, you know? Because you got to go all the way outside. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Last time I smoked real weed, I was on cocaine at Laguna Beach. There's these two white boys in a VW hippie van. They looked exactly like me. It was perfect. I go up to them, and I ask them if they could smoke me out. This is a tunnel vision show. You guys know what smoke me out means, right? It means when someone has weed and they share it with you, right? It's kind of like when my mom cooks for everybody, she eats everybody out. What? I love it when my mom eats me out, dude. It's the best. My mom was actually going to come to the show, but she's too busy eating out my turtle. So sad, man. So sad. I can't keep dieting anymore. Like, how do I say this? Like, my fat ass used to go to open mics with quesadillas on stage. I would use them as my notes just in case ideas pop out, you know? I like my food like I like my jokes. Do you guys respect my craft? All right. Jesus Christ, what am I going to do now? Isn't this the mozzarella shit you've ever heard? All right. Fuck. That joke is the greatest of all time. Goat cheese. All right. Speaking of food, my family is from Turkey. I'm Turkish. But what's fucked up is I was actually born on Thanksgiving. Coincidence? I don't know. My, mo my mom had to postpone the Thanksgiving dinner because of my birth. She's blaming me. That's bullshit. Because my mom had a C-section. That means there was sliced turkey in the hospital the whole time. Ah. Cheesy. Right, I promise, no more puns. No more puns. Anybody ever get in a pregnancy scare? That was the saddest, yeah. I got in a pregnancy scare with my coworker. She just got fat. I'm not scared anymore. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We were, we were in the back seat of the parking lot. She, hey, this bitch is a lot taller than me. It was really uncomfortable. We were hooking up in the car. We are in the back seat doing doggy style. You guys know what doggy style is? That's when I'm behind her. I'm behind her, but she has to roll down the window to stick her head out. Doggy style, bitches. Her head's out the window. She's moaning from the other side of the parking lot. I can hear her echo. <laughs> She's like, choke me, daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> but I can't, because I can't reach that far, man. It's a tall ass bitch. It was so uncomfortable. Like, one side of my face was just resting on her lower back. The other side of my face kept hitting the light. It kept going on and off. I got in a seizure. It sucked, man. Like, no baby would be able to survive a sexual experience like that, you know? So I knew I wasn't going to be a dad. I got a little butt hurt. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to be a dad for one reason and one reason only. It's for the gender reveal parties. You guys watch those videos? That's when the father finds out he has a daughter and he gets way too excited. He's like, fuck yeah, I got a son. I'm going to teach him how to fuck. No? All right. You wouldn't be that excited if you had a daughter. That's all I'm saying. If I had a daughter, my best friends would come up to me and be like, hey, what are you going to do when your daughter starts dating? I don't want to think about my unborn daughter getting dicked down, all right? I'm just going to make her fat. Fuck it. Parenting 101, right? No? All right. I can't. That's my unborn daughter's health. 
If I make her fat, I gotta worry about black dick. Not that it's worse or anything, it's just a bigger problem, that's all it is. I'm not gonna have a kid, so I decided to adopt a highway. I adopted a highway. Could you imagine adopting a highway? Yeah, this is my highway, I found it on the streets. I feel like no one can hear me right now. I'm glad I adopted it, it was a rescue. I saw the sign on the side of the highway. That's when I realized that this is a sign, you know? I just hope it doesn't take a toll on my body. I told my dad that joke and he kicked me out of the house. I was like, Dad, why'd you kick me out? I thought you loved me. He said, it's either my way or the highway, God damn it. All right, for whoever was listening, I appreciate you guys. We're going to bring the last comic. He's the reason why I'm here. He's a good friend of mine and a good friend of yours. Make some noise for Richie! What up, OC Tavern? Yeah!